Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy is Promo, and today we're going to talk about Game Launcher as well as Game Booster. So if you own a Samsung Galaxy device and you love to play games on your phone, you might want to turn on the Game Launcher option. So when you first go through the settings of your Samsung phone, you might see this option to turn on Game Launcher. If you don't see it towards the beginning, you can actually just go inside of your settings, scroll on down to where it says Advanced Features, and then you want to scroll down to where it says Game Launcher. So Game Launcher is just a way that you can organize all of your games in one place, access extra features that enhance your gameplay experience. Now, once you turn this one on, all of the games, you'll be asked if you want all of the games to only be shown with inside of the Game Launcher, or if you want it to be shown in the Game Launcher as well as your app tray. So you might as well clean up your phone, have it being less cluttered, and have all of your games be in one spot. Now, to give you an example of what Game Launcher kind of does and also what Game Booster does is when you're inside of a game, it'll give you some tools that you can use. So you can lock the display if you want to, so you can walk away and you don't want someone to play with your game or maybe you put it in your pocket. The only way that you can really get back into the game is by going on this lock and actually swiping it. And it'll also give you a bunch of other tools that you can use like, like game optimizations, priority mode. You can also get more things from the Galaxy Store uh, like Game Booster Plus and some more game plugins and a whole bunch of really cool things. So going back to the normal, you know, original state of things, which is Game Launcher. So Game Launcher, once you turn it on, you're going to notice that all of your games will just be sitting right here. You can take a look at your game, set them up, you know, in a couple different ways. Uh, or if you want to see all of them on one screen, you just tap there and there's all of your games and again, one spot. Uh, as you scroll on down, you'll have a couple bookmarks. Uh, there's some game notifications. So anytime you get a notification on your phone, maybe you swipe it off and then later on you're curious on what it was. You can see, you know, what it is and when it happened. Gaming timeline, you know, when did you download the games, stuff like that. You also have instant plays. Instant plays is a place that you don't really have to download the game. You just find one within any of these categories. And if it kind of looks like something that you want to try out, you tap it and you'll be able to instantly play the game. Uh, there's also some popular categories if you wanted to go through those. Uh, and then more. Now underneath more, you have a few options. So you have your Galaxy ranking. So this is looking at the Galaxy Store, the gaming categories, um, which ones you know underneath each category are the ones that are most popular, the most played, the most downloaded. So you can actually go through these if you want to discover more games. Here's some of the trending immersive games. If you tap that, you can find more and then you can actually download them and then they'll show up inside of your uh, game launcher. Events, it's really no big deal. I think it's more just spammy, promotional, sponsored um, type stuff that I'd never really look at. Here's Game Booster. Game Booster is a bunch of settings that you can use as you're playing games. So you can actually block during game. So let's say that you open up a game, you can block notifications coming through. You can block your navigation gestures. So with me, I have the navigation gestures turned on. So if I swipe back, it's going to take me back. But maybe in the game, I need to kind of do that closer to the edge of the, the, the screen. So this will just make it to where I have to do it, uh, swipe twice quickly to use my actual navigations. You can actually turn off your auto brightness, turn off the Bixby, and turn off edge panel. You can see edge panel is right here, so maybe that could be in the way of your game. So you can get rid of that if you want to. Now next up is the auto touch protection. And what auto touch protection is, is it kind of puts the phone in this little lock screen. The only way that you can really unlock it so you can go back in your gameplay is by putting your finger on the lock and swiping down or up or whatever. So It'll automatically do that for you after three minutes or two minutes, whatever you want it to do. Uh, you can also save power during touch protection. So basically when the screen, you know, dims out uh, and times out kind of, it's still within the game. You're still getting your points, earning whatever you're doing, but it'll actually reduce the frame rate as well. The, the shortcut bar, this one's really nice to have with inside of your game because you'll have a little shortcut bar that gives you all these other tools right here. So your touch protection, you can automatically just tap it, turn it on, and you can put the phone in your pocket, walk away. You can take a screenshot, do pop-up panel, uh, record, or none. So you can do screen recording. This pop-up panel is opening up other applications. Uh, screen resolution, you have an option if you want it to be at 100% when you take a screenshot or 50. Uh, you also have screenshot format. Do you want it to be on HEIF or J? peg and then game optimization so right now because i don't really do anything intensive when it comes on the gaming on my phone i'm more of an xbox you know player you know you can go up into performance or standard or battery saver now 
I'd rather just use battery saver. All of my stuff is very casual. Sometimes I just leave my phone on. I walk away. Uh, my little, you know, auto touch protection will come on. It's going to dim my screen. And so, you know, that's kind of some of the games that I do. And you can even lower the refresh rate. Now for this one, you don't need to do that. You know, you have the best display on the market. You might as well just keep playing, especially if you are conscious of your battery life. You can just turn on the battery saver. Uh, but this is a way that you are able to limit your uh, refresh rate if you want to as playing games. And then within labs, you can do the complete opposite, uh, alternate game performance management. So you can use experiential uh, or experimental game performance management system that may improve some game performance, but it tends to cause heating. So I'm not really into that. Um, and so that's pretty much it here for the, the game booster settings. And so now you can go inside of like the, uh, the discord for game launcher. You also have labs. So there's additional settings so you can have better playtime calculator. So you can get more accurate, uh, playtime custom library backgrounds. So you can change the background of the library to your own image. And if you're within the game launcher, if you shake your phone, uh, it'll kind of randomly start a mini game, like a little finger chooser game. It's up to you if you want to have that one turn on or not. Uh, notices and then settings and settings doesn't have too much. Uh, it's got theme. So if you want it to be dark, light mode or match the phone settings, uh, uh, show game apps. So all the games that you have, do you want them all to only be shown in the game launcher, which I would suggest, or you can have it everywhere, your home screen, app screen, and game launcher itself. But you might as well keep your phone clean, put it inside that game launcher. Uh, you also have autoplay videos using mobile data, hide playtime in games. So if you there's a particular game that you play a lot of and you don't want people to see all of the hours, you can actually hide it. Uh, and then there's a few other things. You can even erase all of your personal data when it comes down to the game launcher, like how much time you've put into these games, things like that. On the very top, if I was to tap this image, uh, it's going to give you a bunch of details about your gamer profile. So your name, the time played, you can see I put in a lot of hours on Zen Idol. A lot of times I just left it open uh, in that dark screen <laughs> overnight, even sometimes, or for just hours on end, it's going to show you your favorite categories. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. There's 28 games with play time. Mostly, you know, these are the ones that I play again, very, very casual. So there's your gamer profile. So how about we go back into a game? Let me show you, uh, some of these things that we're talking about from before. So this right here is going to be that little bar that we talk about, the little shortcut. This is where if I wanted to, I can automatically go inside of that touch protection. Um, I can change the brightness level. So right now the screen is actually on, it's just on its lowest number. If I was to actually bring up my brightness, you'll actually see it a little bit. So what will happen is after a few minutes, it'll actually go into this little darkened screen. You can barely see it, but I'm still earning my points, still earning my monies in this game. So it's one of those things that you can turn on, put in your pocket, walk away, things like that. This is where you can take a screenshot of the game. This is where you can start doing a screen recorder. So uh, if you wanted to record your gameplay, tap it. Gives you options for your sound. You can show taps or touches, things like that. Now, if you open this back up again, this is going to be uh, a pop-up view. So if you wanted to look at YouTube really quick, maybe something came through. You're still playing the game. You're not disrupting the game. It's just a pop-up. So maybe if somebody sends you a text message, again, you can just open up text messages. You can respond back. Um, and then let's see, when you open this back up, you can close it. And now lastly, on this little shortcut bar, you can see these three little dots. This will give you some more details. So you can turn on priority mode with one little touch of a button right there. You can take a look at your game optimization and you can change it. So right now it just shows I'm in battery saver. It shows me how much time is left of my battery currently with what I'm doing within the phone and the state of the game. You also have memory. Is it good, bad temperature? Is it good, hot, cold, whatever? So this will give you your, your details. This is where you can go inside of Discord. This is where you can download more plugins to give you more things, you know, very similar to what you're seeing here when it comes down to this, uh, you know, game booster. And then you also have settings for game booster, which we already took a look at the settings for game booster. If you want to take a look at more plugins, which I've actually covered in the past before, uh, for game plugins, it comes from the galaxy store specifically made by Samsung and it gives you more tools. So you have game booster plus you also have game plugins. Uh, so you can do like daily limits. You can, bring your performance higher, game booster plus network boost. I mean, there's a lot of things, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, turn on, turn off, show CPU, GPU, show temperature, show frame rate. Uh, here's the game booster plus if there's particular games that you want it to be on a particular gaming experience. So like, let's say for this game, you selected save battery for this game you went to high quality. So anytime you open up games, you can have different profiles per those games. 
and I already have game plugins, so I'm just going to update these ones here. So yeah, Game Booster Plus and game plugins. So that is some of the things that you're able to find inside of this little quick little shortcut. This is really just Game Booster. Uh, here's your settings. We already saw this from before. And uh, it just gives you a bunch of tools. You can lock the screen. I mean, we pretty much covered every single thing. Uh, and then again, lastly, just to kind of look at it one more time, we took a look at the game booster, but here is that game launcher. Everything is inside of here. It gives you a bunch of good, really cool details, instant plays. Uh, and then also too, you could find new games that you can play. And you know a few other settings. There's a game booster, labs settings. So yeah, it's it's pretty fun to go through if you guys want to play with it. Especially if you are a gamer on your phone, you definitely want to have game launcher. Again, if you don't see it, you can just search for it on your phone or go inside of your advanced features, and this is where you can find game launcher and you just turn it on. So hopefully you guys appreciate this video. Hopefully this has kind of helped you out a little bit more with exactly what game launcher is and game booster and all of the things that you can do. If you guys appreciated this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and i'll see you guys later <laughs>